Hi, Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store. And today I'm going to show you how to provision Polycom IP phones with 3CX. Now there's a couple different ways we can do this, but we really don't want to do it by using the web interface of the phone. You, you just miss out on a lot of features and functionality. It's okay if you just need to do a quick test, just log in, set up the account and, and go, but you really are going to miss out on a lot of different features by doing it that way. So you really want to use the provisioning built into 3CX because it creates a template file which really tells the phone how to work properly with 3CX. So that's why we want to do it that way. Now the one thing we can do is we, we can tell the phone where to go get those configuration files or preferably we're going to use the DHCP server to tell the phone where to go get them. Now I'll step you through doing it on the phone. It's not that difficult, it's just kind of tedious. We go to Menu, Settings, Advanced, the password is 456, Enter, go to Admin Settings, Network Configuration, scroll down to the server menu, change the server type to HTTP. The server address is going to be the IP address of your 3CX system colon 5481. And once you have that in the system, the phone will reboot and should grab the right configuration file. Now we, we have to go and set it up first within 3CX so it knows which phone is being configured, but we'll get to that in just a moment. The other way to tell the phone where to get its config files is going to be from the DHCP server. So I'm going to want to log in to the DHCP server and set that up. Now for our purposes, I'm going to be using the Microsoft DHCP server built into Windows 2008. If you got 2003 or, or later, this is all going to be the same. It's very simple to do, so that you shouldn't have any real problems with it. Let's go ahead and log in and see how to do that. All right, now I'm logged in and I've opened up my DHCP manager. I'm going to go to my IPv4 settings, my scope options, and in here I have 066. Now if you don't see this, you can just add it by saying configure options scroll through the list until you find it. If I have it there, I'm just going to open it up and you can see it's got the IP address colon 5481 slash provisioning. You have to have the slash provisioning if you're using the Abyss web server or if you're using version 8, it's going to be Cassini. If you're using IIS, you don't need to do that. So if we have the full URL in here that we need, we restart our DHCP server, go here and go to restart. Now once that restarts, now whenever the phone boots up and gets an IP address, it's going to be told where to go get its configuration file. Now we need to set the phone up within 3CX. So once I've logged into my 3CX manager, I'm going to go to my extensions and we're going to be setting up extension 501. I'm going to go over to the phone provisioning tab. And you can see I've got the MAC address of the phone in here. Now on the Polycoms, the MAC address is down here on the bottom. It's really easy to see. It's 12 digits long, starts with 000. Pretty difficult to miss. So you're going to put the MAC address in here, and we're going to choose the model number. In this case, this is a Polycom 650. And if we have multiple network cards, we're going to choose the appropriate network card. And come over here and say OK. So now 3CX has built the configuration file. Our DHCP server is going to tell the phone where to get its configuration from. And then we can go back to the phone and tell the phone to reboot. Now once the phone reboots, you'll watch it go through the process of loading the application, conf configuring itself, and then it should come up. Now once this comes up, and this is going to take a moment here, 
I'm not really a big fan of the default Polycom configuration. Now, on this particular phone, the 650, we have six line keys here. Now, I'm going to show you a uh, close-up of what this phone looks like. Now, as you can see by looking at this image, only the very first key is configured as a line key. The rest of them, it stuffs in the contact list from 3CX. So as you build this, they'll keep adding to the keys. And if you have an expansion module, they'll roll over into that. Now the problem I have with that configuration is that when you're dealing with multiple calls, it's kind of difficult to, to move people around, answer multiple calls, put calls on hold, and go back and forth to them. What I like to do is set up like the first three keys here as different line keys. Now it's all going to be the same extension. It's just going to be one simple modification that we have to make in order to make that work. Now as the phone's coming up, we'll get that first configuration, which I said I'm not a huge fan of. So how can we go about modifying this for our purposes? Well, let's go back into 3CX here and I'm going to show you how. Now the first way is just going to be to edit the template file. So if I go to settings, scroll down here to provisioning templates, and I select our Polycom 650, and I say to edit, I can just edit our configuration file. Now what I'm looking for here is the number of line keys, which is going to be right here. So by default, it's not set. And we can set this one, two, three, four, five, or six, depending on which phone we have. So if I set this to three, then the first three keys are going to show up as line keys, which is kind of cool. Now the problem with doing it the way I just showed you is if down the road, 3CX comes out with an update to this provisioning template, it's going to overwrite your changes that you've made here. And when the phones re-register, they're going to go back to that configuration. What we want to do instead is to create our own templates that will never get overridden regardless of updates that 3CX does. Let me show you how to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to log in to the console on the box that's running 3CX. We're going to go to 3CX, our program data, 3CX, data, HTTP, templates, phones. Now what I've done here is I've taken the Polycom file and created a second one called Polycom Custom. So I just copied, pasted, and renamed it. Now if I go to edit this, it's going to be very similar inside. We're only going to make a couple changes here. We're going to change the model to Polycom-Custom, and then each phone model is going to be Polycom space custom space and the model name. So when we look at it in the provisioning templates, we'll be able to, to know which ones are our custom templates. Then as we scroll down, we can find that option that we want to change. If you can't find it, we'll just go to line keys. There we go. Number of line keys. We're going to put us three. That calls per line key. We can leave blank. This is the only option we really need to change. I'm going to go ahead and save this file and exit. In order for these settings to take effect, we need to restart the 3CX phone system services. Once they come back up, we'll now see those new templates in our manager. Let's go back to our phone manager here. I'm going to go back to this phone, go to phone provisioning. And now I have my Polycom custom ones. So I'm going to select my custom 650, go to apply, and now I'm going to reboot the phone again. I'm going to menu, three, two, four, five, six, enter, three to reboot the phone. Yes, I'm sure. Now when the phone comes up, those first three keys are going to be line keys. So I think that's much easier to work with on the phone. So that's the one tip that I really have for using the Polycom phones with 3CX. Now that's not going to apply to every model of Polycom phone because there's models that only have one and two lines on them. But 
for the 500 series and the 600 series, I think that's a great modification to make to really make these phones a little more usable. So as soon as this phone comes back up, we'll show a screenshot of that so you can see what the difference is. And there we have it. Now you can see the three line keys there and how they would work on the display using that simple change that I showed you. So that's really it. It's pretty simple to set up Polycom phones to work with 3CX. We showed how to make custom templates, showed how to apply those templates, showed how to use option 66, and how to manipulate those line keys on the phone to make that phone a little easier to work with. This has been Kerry Garrison with 888 VoIP Store. Thank you for watching.